Well, voter turnout statewide fell by nearly 300,000 this year compared to the last midterm election four years ago. And there were big declines in Dallas County as well. Political reporter Jack Fink joining us now here in studio to show you the numbers. He spoke with Democratic Party leaders in Dallas about this. Jack, I'm sure this is concerning for them. Well, it is, Ken and Karen. And, you know, statewide this year, there were more than 8 million Texans who cast their ballots. Perhaps surprising when you consider the governor's campaign predicted there could be more than 10 million people who would vote this midterm election. Obviously, we didn't come anywhere close to that. And that's clear when you look here in Dallas County. In 2018, the county had more than 731,000 people vote in the midterm election. That's about a 55% voter turnout. But this year, turnout in Dallas County was more than 621,000, a 44 percent turnout. We saw the signs early on that turnout was going to be down. Dallas County's Democratic Party chair says she believes voters may be fatigued. She also said four years ago there were more contested elections at the top of the ticket and in Dallas County. In 2018, we had, I believe, six House districts that were very, very competitive. We had two congressional districts that were very, very competitive. We had a top of the ticket run um, of Beto against Ted Cruz. That was the first election after Trump was elected. There was a lot more engagement and that it was really a referendum on that Trump election. And even though voter turnout fell in Dallas County, Democrats gained some seats from Republicans. They include on the commissioner's court, where the lone Republican, J.J. Koch, lost, meaning that all commissioners on the court will be Democrats in January. Tarrant County Republicans are celebrating as well, even as turnout dropped in that county as well. I'll have more on that coming up at 5.